Hi, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation, the only internet web series about the movies that dares to ask hard-hitting questions like, hey, you remember those uh, movies uh, uh, called Phantasm and there were a bunch of them? How come there was never a fifth Phantasm movie? It's a ball with a blade on it. Oh my it God, chases yeah, into that's your brain. It, that's the Tall it. Man, the Tall yeah. Man. Yeah, the to oh my God, this just in. They're coming out with a fifth one. What? Yeah, that's it. Welcome Excellent. to the Film Pigs. I am Todd Anderson, your host. This is Steve Skelton. This is Steve Falk. Those guys are film pigs. And this is our very special guest, Craig Perry. Hey. Welcome, Craig Perry. Craig Perry's a producer guy. He produced uh, the American Pie movies mm -hmm. and those Final Destination movies. And, and, we, and a movie you were in. Yes. And a movie I was in called Replicate. Very good movie. Go see it when yeah. you have a chance. And it was, I shot that the same year I got married. And he gave me a very nice wedding gift. It was a three foot long black dildo. <laughs> And if you get the that's DVD usually like replicate, a, you can like a, see well, it. No, but it's like shoes. I had to give him one to make a pair. So. <laughs> it's usually yeah. like, that's usually like a fifth anniversary. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. like he's non Paper, wood. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start the show like we always do with this thing we call popcorn. 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 Oh, there it is. George Washington mm. came up with it. Mm. This has been here for years. What are you talking about? <sighs> oh, that was good. So good. That popcorn's good. Uh, so we uh, uh, have this segment at the beginning of the show that we call Rash Judgments, where we tell you what movies that are coming out this week, whether or not you should go see them. And we haven't seen them because they don't let us in to the movie theaters. Uh, not anymore. No, nope. not anymore. There are actually pictures of you guys at no. theaters. At all the theaters no. don't let us in. We're no. not allowed in the theaters. Strong arm. But we have strong, uh, dickish opinions oh. that we're willing to share anyway. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that. Right now, Steve Falk, what's your rash oh. judgment? If you like BBC, if you like English people, then you're going to love Alan Partridge. It's Steve Coogan reprising his famous, if you live in England, character, <laughs> Alan Partridge. Uh, he's a uh, bon vivant, a radio personality, a guy who, who has hair like that and floppy. And uh, in this movie, uh, he uh, has his little radio station and they're gonna take it over. This big conglomerate is coming to take it over and they have a siege. They have a siege because they don't, they don't wanna be taken out by the, by the man. And uh, then he gets involved with the cops trying to end the, uh, the standoff that he created. And it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of English humor and uh, I, I don't know, if, are we gonna get it here? I don't know. Uh, I saw Philomena, he was in that, co-wrote that, pretty good, good guy. Uh, I heard he got Courtney Love addicted to heroin. That may be just a rumor, uh, don't sue me. Um, Alan Partridge, I, uh, does he blow, does he blow up, hero. does he <laughs> blow up at the end of the first act, like in Tropic Thunder? Oh yeah, he was in that. <laughs> He's a very funny man, uh, it, it would probably be funny, uh, I don't know if I will see it, but if you like BBC and English people, go see it. There you go, that's, uh, his rash, rash judgment. Now it's time for Steve Skelton's Rash Judgment. Oh. What's your Rash Judgment? My Rash Judgment is for a movie called Afflicted. Ooh. Now, this is a, a horror thriller. Ah. And at first, I was like, eh, because it's like a found footage style mm. kind of thing, which I'm not too keen on. Mm -mm. But it's these two buddies, ah. and they're going like on buddies. their buddies going on a year-long trip oh. around Europe or the world or whatever. Who cares? Ooh. The important thing is, is one of them has... I think AIDS. a one night Herpes. close, <laughs> a one night stand with a weird, mysterious lady, and Ooh. he gets like a STD that gives him superpowers. Oh, oh. I just came. I didn't know <laughs> he was too. Yeah. He gets like oh, wow. he, yeah, and it's like it's so it's kind of like Chronicle, but it's also <laughs> horry because later he gets gross and he's on the ground oh. going in front of the camera, and but you don't know why the camera. He's like there. Dick Chronicles. Yeah, it's Dick Chronicles. <laughs> so I this is like a weird this is like a weird movie that. I'll probably watch um, when Todd gets it on Blu-ray and we drink scotch. <laughs> That's true. I will get that on Blu-ray. It sounds great. Now, our special guest, Craig Perry, also has a rash judgment. What would I that do? be? I do. I have an enormous rash judgment. and It's going to actually give me a rash. I got <laughs> Captain America Winter Soldier. Now, I, I admit, I've only seen the trailer. And I did see the first movie. I actually liked the first movie. I thought they did a good yeah, job. It was a good movie. It was fun. This one looks like the entire movie was shot between 34 and 48 frames per second to make it really dramatic and exciting. And interspersed with the slow motion are explosions. 
And Chris <laughs> Evans. They intersperse slow motion uh, with explosions. Yeah, exactly. Slow motion, then boom, and then slow yeah, motion yeah. more. Um, and then the crazy vistas of CG. But what the most interesting thing for me CG just. Vistas. Oh, it's crazy. The, the thing that Hold I like the most, though, is Chris Evans channeling his inner Robert Downey. Like, they've decided that Captain America can't be a fish out of water from the 40s. He now acts to be sort of sort of ironic and, and, and arch. And, and it's lovely to see his witty repartee with Scarlett Johansson, because who wouldn't want to have witty repartee with Scarlett Johansson? That's a euphemism. Mm, um, oh yes. But she doesn't. She doesn't reveal the jubbly. She does that in that other sci-fi movie, The Name of Which Is Escaping. Oh, coming the, out. Where she, yeah, like, yeah, she's an like, alien oh, it's coming like down. Oh, species. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, it's but it's not, yeah it's exactly. Species. It's art house species. Art house species. Where you see your titties? <laughs> yes, yeah. you do. Full frontal. Yeah, but not in Captain America. Oh, exactly. America. Do you need to go? Yeah, <laughs> yeah is okay. it out yet? All right. <laughs> not, <laughs> not in Captain America quick steady. It's not in Captain yeah. America, uh, but I think the movie's going to be fun. I hear great things, so don't count on my opinion. Make up your own, and I will be the guy behind you throwing popcorn. All right, well, that's Rast Judgments, which brings us to the middle of our program. The uh, middle passage, like, uh, like Amistad. A, <laughs> we have it's a, exactly like Amistad. It kind of felt that way. It's a, <laughs> it's a mid segment. We have a mid segment, and uh, we have Craig Perry here. It's very special. Yeah. And uh, we, the film pigs, pride ourselves on entertainment news scoops. Scoops. We love scoops. We love scoops. Of entertainment news. We scoop them up and we share them with you. Here are your and, scoops. And uh, Craig is producing this new movie uh, directed by a very famous director that he's teamed up with. Mm. And uh, he's sharing with us some behind the scenes interviews and uh, uh, footage. So we're going to show that to you right now. Yeah. So you should probably watch it because we're going to roll, it. roll this now! I've been incredibly fortunate. Uh, I've had an incredible run here in Hollywood. Uh, to be involved in two franchises, like American Pie and Final Destination, uh, what, how does that ever happen to anybody? I am incredibly lucky. I've got a great career, a great family. I've got a pretty great life. It's not enough. No, seriously, it's not enough. You know what? I, I, want, I want a statue. I want, I want the gold guy. But uh, how is that going to happen? How? You tell me. I mean, they give those things to big, serious movies. I make comedies. I make horror movies, movies people like. Those kinds of movies are treated like the kids who sit at the card table in the kitchen during Thanksgiving. I want a trophy. It's not that hard. What's hard is making these movies. It's not easy to fuck a pie. It's not easy to cut somebody in half and wear their skin like a moccasin. Really, I want a fucking trophy. I deserve a fucking trophy. But you know what, I figured out how to get one. No, I did, I figured it out. It's pretty simple, actually. The way for me to get the trophy that I deserve, on my next movie, I'm gonna hire Ang Lee. <laughs> Ang fucking Lee. When Mr. Perry called me, I could not have been more thrilled. Uh, I was so excited, in fact, I ran right out and uh, went to the learning annex and joined a speech therapy group to completely lose my accent. I did this not only out of respect for the American Mr. Perry, but also uh, so that um, if I am ever parodied by an internet sketch comedy group, the white boy who plays me will not seem racist. The initial challenge uh, was to figure out how to intertwine my sensibility with Mr. Perry. Uh, it took nearly uh, two full hours to figure that out, but we finally did, and it's genius. American Life of Pi. I just want to be your friend. It's so lonely out here, lost at sea. At the same time, I do kind of want to eat you because I am hungry and you are a pie. Look, what Ang has done is nothing short of miraculous. I mean, to, to capture the tension of being adrift at sea, alone with nothing but a delicious, tempting pie. I mean, the, the narrative tension, the emotional tension, it's pretty incredible. I really don't think there's another director in Hollywood who could have done this. No, no, I was good. I was good. You are my friend, not my dessert. You are my friend, not my dessert. You are my friend, not my dessert. Oh, oh, I think I'm falling in love with you, you scrumptious thing. I came into this project uh, not knowing much about pie. Uh, I grew up in, in Taiwan with, with uh, tofu pudding and mooncakes. Uh, but after uh, The Hulk was uh, such a bad movie, uh, really a very, very, very bad movie, uh, in which the end is, I don't know if you saw, 
uh, Nick Nolte turns into a giant bubble. That's the end. Anyway, uh, after that experience, I wanted to make sure I knew what I was getting into and that I had an ending, of course, uh, that wasn't Nick Nolte turning into a giant bubble. Uh, so I immersed myself in the world of pies. I got pies of all kinds. I went to Marie Callender's, which, where their slogan, I do believe, is pie, 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 and I ate pie. Uh, I, I played with pie. Uh, I, 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 I sang to pie. And I, I, in the end, I do believe I became not only a great lover of pie culture, but uh, my joke to my wife, uh, Shirley, is, is that I am now a pie master. We were very concerned about authenticity. There's a lot of debate. Do we use a real pie? Do we not use a real pie? At the end of the day, the decision was made, let's do it all CG. Because really, using a real pie in that environment, in those circumstances, with that actor, just too dangerous. Oh, I would never eat you. Never. Because you're my soulmate. Oh, oh, there, there you go. Oh, oh, it's not on the cream, not on the frosting. It's nice, it's nice. That's right, that's right. That's, take it, you pie! Take that pie! Oh, God, yes! Yes! Of course the pie got violated. That is the, the whole reason I took this, this job, to direct a movie in which a pie gets fantastically humped. Look, I'm, I'm trophy bound, baby. Have you seen the movie? It's amazing. Ang did an incredible job. In fact, uh, I think that this movie is going to break all box office records. And so the collaboration was so great, we're talking about doing another movie. It's true. It's true. Crouching Tiger, Final Destination. No, I'm serious, it's gonna be amazing. The opening sequence, oh, 3,000 Wudang swordsmen fighting in the trees, cutting each other apart. The blood falls like rain, the innards fall like poop. It's incredible. I can't wait for people to see it. And I, a little secret, we're talking about another one. We're also considering American Brokeback Pie Mountain. Um, uh, <laughs> wow. What did you guys what think? Happened? Well, do you have an itch you can't job. scratch? Uh, well, no, I, I, I just saw what we, we, we just showed, and um, I have an appreciation. <laughs> well, Are you okay? Yeah. I went through a lot. Um, yeah. I went through a lot. It looks like a great film. Congratulations. Congrats. All I know is I cleared the mantle for the Oscar that's coming my way. Yeah, it's coming and your I way. And I appreciate it's the yours. efforts you did, too. Yeah, Thank it was you. well done. I went to, there's a lot of dark places I went to. You'll get an Oscar, and you can be your own hero in 10 years. Um, uh, so uh, that's that was the mid segment, and uh, we like what have we done so far on the show? We've oh, done what haven't uh, we done? We, we, introdu we introduced everybody. We introduced I introduced you guys Both of and us. myself. Both of us. He fucked and a pie, and he fucked a pie. Yeah, and we introduced and, you. Okay, and I didn't fuck not, a pie. Not, you did not fuck a pie. Can't not fuck uh, but the night and is then, young. <laughs> yeah, it is. And we had rash judgments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We talked about yeah. uh, somebody's breasts. Scarlett Johansson's, Scarlett Scarlett Johansson's breasts. Johansson. Yeah. Her breasts, and uh, and then we did the mid segment where right. pies were fucked, and then we just did this thing, and now we're doing the like show yeah, wrap up. Yeah, we did the wrap up. Yeah, yeah. We're, well, we're st yeah, and still doing it, and then probably this is like hot tub time machine. It's yeah. very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hot Tub Time Machine. Making another one. Yeah, 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 but not with John Cusack, with Adam Scott. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. I like Adam Scott, though. Oh, Adam I love Scott's Adam Scott. Scott. Yeah, I, I, I like, yeah, I like him. Good like job, him. Adam Scott. Mm -hmm. Well done, Adam Scott. you've got Scott. four well fans right good, here. Good job. So, so, uh, so until, uh, until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. You know, while I got you here, yes, sir. You know, I've got a couple of pitches for the next uh, okay. uh, final destination. People have set opening. up a catcher, so go ahead. Yeah, the next uh, final destination opening, and you guys jump in if yeah, you have no, some no, ideas. No. Okay. Uh, but here, here it is. Oh, it's wait. it's all on a carousel, and it's all small oh. children on yeah. a carousel. Yeah, and then and then and then Amazon delivery drones just yeah. <laughs> decapitate. Them. Amazon yeah. delivery drones come in and decapitate the children, and like yeah. one of them gets. Like speared on the unicorn on the thing. Yeah. What's yours? What's yours? Go. Pool party. Pool party. Pool party. Ah. What happens Whoa. at the pool party? 
What happens is there, it, it, it's near telephone wires, uh -huh. right? Like power yeah. lines, and there's an earthquake. Uh -huh. And a hang glider and crashes and waves, into the power lines. And then lines. the power lines come into yeah. the, into yeah. the uh, pool. <laughs> oh, oh z -z 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 yeah. Look, I, I, all I'm gonna say is if we're talking about what a sequel might be, as we are here in the valley, I will conflate many things. Anal destination, final pie. Oh <laughs> my God! <laughs> Boom. <laughs>